quantum mechanics broke with the past by saying that whereas Newton in classical physics taught us that you can, given the state of the world now, predict how it will be five minutes later or a million years later using the equations of motion to evolve it forward in time, quantum theory came along and said that's the wrong way of thinking about things. If you know everything that you can know about the universe right now, the best you can do is predict the probability, the likelihood that you get one or another outcome when you run the equations forward an hour or 100 million years into the future. Now that sets up an interesting situation because, for instance, if the law says that there's a 50% chance that the electron is here and 50% chance that it's over here, right? When you go to measure the electron, you don't find sort of half of it here and half of it here. You always find one whole electron either here or here. So the question is, if you find the electron in my left hand, what happened to the possibility of it being in my right hand? Right. You might say, well, that just goes away. The problem is just goes away is incompatible with the mathematics. The most straightforward reading of the equation suggests, if you just use the most straightforward interpretation that's right there, the equation suggests that there's actually one universe where indeed you do find it in my left hand, and there's another universe where you find it in my right hand, and therefore there's a copy of me in that universe with two hands, right. thinking that there's only one unique outcome, but there are two of me in distinct universes under that same illusion that there's only one universe, but the God's eye view, if you don't mind me using that metaphor, is that there are, <laughs> there are, there are, this universe. There, there are many universes out there, and basically anything that's allowed by the laws of quantum physics is represented in this menagerie of universes.